Hello friends, welcome back to Journey with Miss Cohen. If you are new here, please consider sticking around by clicking that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you catch all of my upcoming videos. So today we're going to do a quick unboxing. I ordered two new things recently I thought I would share with you all. Um, I ordered uh, a pair of boots. I ordered these Journey 100% leather. They're called the Layla Tall Boot. Um, I ordered these from Macy's and they came in the mail today. So I'm going to unbox those for you. And I also ordered a new personal blender from Amazon. This one is by Living Solution. I wanted a personal blender because I have a blender, but um, I just wanted one where I could make a quick smoothie, like a 16 ounce smoothie in and not have to wash the big glass jar of my larger blender. But I blend a lot because I eat very, very consciously. Like I have, I have, I'm an intentional eater and I have a reason for that. I'm a very intentional eater. So I eat a lot of fresh fr fruits and vegetables. I do a lot of juices, my own juices and um, smoothies. But, you know, I use like, I don't even use dairy in my smoothies. I use uh, coconut milk in my smoothies or I'll um, uh, liquefy a banana and make like a banana milk to go with my other fruits that I'm uh, blending together. So I ordered this personal blender on the go, personal blender, because it also has on, on the front, as you can see, it has a cup so I can blend it and then just go with the cup after I finish blending. Box it and see what you have. Okay, that's the cup. That looks like the blender. That's a piece. And this is the base. This is the base. Now what would be nice is if I could travel with this and it ran by double D batteries or a, a huge volt battery, but it's electrical, so. This is the base here. And it has pulse, three different speeds on it. So there's a pulse, there's a low, and there's a high. Okay, on the base. So it has three different speeds. This is the uh, on-the-go cup. Okay, this is the on-the-go cup. And it has, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay, it snaps on and off there. Snaps on and off. And... Okay, so it goes down on there and then you turn it to lock it here and then you turn it to unlock it that way. And then what you can do is, this is a cup that can be on the go. This is what your smoothie will be inside of. You will take this off, put one of the tops on and you're ready to go. You can also do the same thing with this. So the night before you could have your fruits in, uh, in a container, freeze them in the morning, throw everything in here, blend, go. They even have those in the store already made. They have the um, pre-cut smoothie bags available in the freezer section. So you could buy those for your ingredients in here the night before, refrigerate it or freeze it, put it on here in the morning. Wait a minute. Put it in here, put the blending top on it in the morning. If you're in a hurry, put your ingredients in, put the blending top on it in the morning and lock it in. So you have to line it up. That's unlocked, and then you lock it before you use it. Take it off, twist this off, grab a top, put the top on it, go. So you have two of those that you can do that with in this box. Again, this is on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link to the Amazon, um, to my Amazon store in the, in the description, and you'll be able to see this blender in my Amazon store. All right, that's the first thing we received. I'm excited about that because my blender that I that I use on a regular basis is much larger. It's a great blender. It's an oyster and it has lasted me for, I think, two years I've had it and it's still going strong. The jar on it or the blending uh, picture on it is glass. It's heavy. So when I blend, I have to uh, clean it up, get another cup. It's just a long process, which I don't mind when I'm preparing a lot of food. But when I'm on the go, this personal blender is going to work perfectly fine by Living Solutions. All right, moving on. If it's one thing I love, it's a great pair of genuine leather boots. I'm not so um, stuck on it being a name brand per se, as long as it's genuine leather. Um, I'm noticing lately that vegan leather or fi microfiber leather 
is running the same price as some genuine leather. And in my opinion, it's not, it's just not going to last me as long as genuine leather will last. So I ordered these genuine leather, 100% genuine leather journey, Layla tall boots from Macy's. So let's unbox them. And I ordered these in black. So let me see what I get. I have another pair of boots coming too, because, um, I wasn't sure what these would look like. So I ordered another pair. Okay. Um, I love the thick heel. I got these for this thick heel. I love the thick heel. It's not too high. I want to say it is roughly two and a half inches high. The zipper is on the inside of the boot. And let's unzip it. Let's see. It's a nice zip. Not too bad. Okay. Pretty nice zip. Let's take this out. The leather is mm, mediocre now. I'm, I can smell some good <laughs> If it's one thing I know, it's some good leather. And this is uh, just okay leather. So on a scale of one to 10, I would give this leather uh, an eight, eight and a half. Get the other one out. I like that they individually wrap each boot. I like that. Great wrap. Here is the, here is the second boot. It's a nice black shimmery, not shiny, but kind of a, sh it's got a little bit of a shine, but not shiny, shiny. Uh, like not patent leather shiny finish on the leather and um it looks like a decent quality i do like the stitch that's up the front of the boot the boot has a stitch up the front of it i like that and it also has it on the back of the boot so let me try these on and see what i think for you guys right boot and no, not too into these. The bottom here fits perfectly, but this is a little too much. These are nine. I wear a size nine. I don't know if it's intended to be that gappy, but it's too gappy for me. I'd like it to fit a little bit more to my leg. So maybe this is for a large calf and I don't have that, but the bottom fits perfect. I love the fit of the bottom. So um, I'll just go ahead and try on the left boot, but I don't think I'm gonna be keeping these actually. Let me know in the comments what you think about these boots. Um, I rolled up my jeans just so you could see. Because even if I had on jeans with these, the calf is still a little loose. So, um, I mean, it may be they're supposed to be that way. It's just a little too gappy for me. See that? The bottom down here fits perfectly. This is just a little gappy for me. So that's the two things I received. Let me know in the comments what you think about these boots. In my opinion, they're too uh, wide around the calf for my legs. Even if I had on boots, I think they would be a little too wide. I just have to make a decision as to where I'm going to keep these. I love the blender and the decision is still out on the, the jewelry is still out on the boots. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think. All right, so that's it for my unboxing today. Continue the journey with me by clicking that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you catch all of my upcoming videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. All right, friends, see you next time.